guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we are going to be looking at the new Halloween update in Overlook Bay. So I am joining a public server because private servers are a little expensive. I hope one day they make the Overlook Bay server private servers a lot cheaper or even free like Adopt.me did. So right now, it is taking a little longer to load into Overlook Bay than it is into Adopt.me. I don't know if that's just because of all the details in Overlook Bay. I do personally like all the little gyms and the facts that you have to go to like the pizza place and stuff like that. Um, and the beach and the seashells, there's just so much to do in Overlook Bay, but there is, the, what we're going to be talking about today is the fact that there are new pets. I have one of the new pets that just came, I got out of collecting the soul um, coins. I got Casper, she's on a, or she is on a level 3, and she is my new favorite pet. The way she little waddles around and stuff is so cute. So, out here, if we come outside, this is where you go trick or treating. You go to inventory, you click the crown, and you go to the pumpkin pail, and you go up to these houses. You don't have to walk inside or anything, you just kind of click the doorbell. It takes a second for, of course, the guy to come to the door, but that is completely okay because it's completely worth it. So it takes a second, and then it comes up like this. The game is glitching a little bit because there are a lot of people playing because of the new update, but in a couple weeks, it will not be glitching as bad. So over here, this is where you turn in the candies to feed to this little guy over here. See, it says feed pet, feed pet, feed pet your candy, and you click yes. And all the candy that you collected goes to him, and you need one, th I need, I personally need 1,040 more to unlock him. So I'm definitely going to be working on this. This update did come out, I think, to this morning, I believe. And... By the time I'm recording this, it is the 10th of October. So we're going to go ahead and teleport to the Halloween update. I think personally the fastest way to get souls would be to mine because that is a really good way to get souls. If you don't have a lot of soul coins and you're trying to save up to get one of the pet pods, what you can do is that you can stick with the pickaxe you have because eventually you can be able to buy the pickaxes for diamonds. So that'll be easy. Um, I have already been donating to this girl a lot, so I don't think I need to donate any more to her. Downloaded. Oh, I've donated like, I don't know, 500 so far. So I do want to go buy a soul. Sorry, I want to go buy one of these soul pods because these little soul pods will not be coming back to the game after they leave. And so therefore the pets themselves are going to be rare. So I'll go ahead and insert that. The game is very much glitching because of how many people are playing. This update just came out, so a lot of people are trying to save up all their money and stuff like that. Oh my goodness, we're going to give this a second to load in. Okay, we are back, and the pod has finally loaded in. Things are not as glitchy now, so let's go ahead. This is what I'm saving up for next, the Hex Cat, which is so cute. I already have a name for my pet. Um, I was thinking of a name after I'm going to get it. Okay, I don't want to see what it is. I'm not going to be surprised. Wait, what's it right here? You guys see that? Dark magic. Wait, what? Is this a glitch? What is this? Wait, what? Oh, it's an ultra pet. That's so cool. Um, maybe they're still working on that. Let's go ahead and see what pet we got. What pet? Oh! We got the Pumpkin King. Oh, hello there, Mr. Pumpkin King. What is that guy's name? Jack? The Pumpkin King? Yeah, we're gonna name him Jack. The skeleton guy from the movie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... He's so cute. Oh my goodness, the Pumpkin King. Oh, that was so worth it. But the name of my pet's cat is going to be Trixie. I think that's a really cute name for a little... Um... Halloween kitty. And then, of course, there is the Rainbow Rider, which is worth Robux. So, when training comes out, I will be trying to get her, but not right now, unfortunately. Yes, it's 795 Robux, which is almost 800. I don't know why they didn't just make it 800, but it's time to go to the mines. The mines are so beautiful. I was informed by one of the creators, the Megan Plays, in one of her videos, she informed us all that the mines will be staying in the game. They will just be kind of converting their currency to being sold from the soul coins to the gems. 
So when you mine a gem over here with your pickaxe, instead of selling it for the soul coins, after the Halloween update leaves, you will be able to get it for actual gems. I personally love the mines. They are so beautiful. I think it's such a cool way to kind of incorporate the mines into the Halloween update instead of having to do two different updates. I think they kind of just did it all at once, and I love that. I will be... Oh, no, Jack! Oh, my goodness. Are you okay, dude? Oh, come up here. Come up, come here. Come up here. Jack? Jack! Jack, you're drowning! Oh, my God! Oh, my goodness. You really got to take care of these Halloween pets, don't you? You almost drowned, Jack! Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's get you out of here safe. Like I was saying, I will be buying a pickaxe, a upgraded pickaxe, after I buy my, um, cat, the Halloween cat, which I'll be naming Pixie. A lot of people are saying that it is actually hard to get money in Overlook Bay, that the creators lied to them. I know you probably haven't seen this, but I've seen multiple, multiple tweets on Twitter that are talking about how, how Overlook Bay lied to them, about how good the game actually is, which I... I think that Overlook Bay is a really good game. And I, I have been following the developers of the game for a while. And even if I didn't, I believe I would still be playing. Just because money is so easy to get. The pets are so cute. There are some things I would change about the game. For example, the way you hold the pets. I think you kind of look like you're suffocating them. Um, so, like, when you're holding Jack, it kind of looks like you're suffocating him. Um, yeah. that's I do like the way you hold the pets. It got me a little bit more... But other than that, this game is one of my favorite games. Adopt Me is definitely up on the list of the top three. So, for the pets, I am going to be going back to the witch's house and looking at them. I just wanted to go get some gems real quick so I could kind of save up my money since I do not have a lot of soul coins or diamonds. So, let's head back to the witch's house. So, guys, we are back in Ezra's chamber, which is the evil witch's chamber. She is, go she is upstairs right now. But if we look at this board, this is all the Halloween pets. I'm pretty sure this is the Hex Cat that is over here. Um, the one I'm going to be getting a name in Trixie. And then there are two different kind of unicorn pets. Maybe that is a glitch, or maybe there are two different unicorn pets I just do not know about. I do know one is the Rainbow Rider, which is a godly. And both of the unicorns on this list are godly. We do not know what this is about. It is most likely going to come around more towards Halloween. Because it says Hallow's Eve Shadowcorn, which I don't know what Shadowcorn is. <gasps> Maybe it's a little candy corn pet. There's just so many different options. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications to get all of my new videos. Please, like that, let me know in the comments down below it, what type of videos you would like to see next. And hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you so much. Bye!